China's first pilot free trade zone and economic hub of Shanghai has forged ahead since opening in late September. It's the start of a chapter in the world's second largest economy, and it's where many new plans and rules will be tested. Shu Wenjing reports. Jiang Lanlan is an expat who has lived in Shanghai for the past 10 years. With years of experience in the financial industry, Jiang thinks it might be a good time to set up his own business with his friends in the city's new free trade zone. Been here for 10 years, and I see China from you know from when I first came to now was a big, big difference, and so I want to be a part of it. And so hopefully the free trade zone will be able to give us all a, a better chance. The chance could get its start with a simplified registration system. It usually takes 29 working days for a company to set up business, but inside the zone, it takes only four. And opportunities for foreign investors are growing, thanks to the country's first negative list. This innovative management approach opens any sector that isn't off limits. So far, the negative list groups 18 main sectors of the national economy. Negative list for us is a very important challenge because we have been used to negative lists. 啊，什么叫正面清单？就什么可以做的，除了什么是可以做的话呢？什么其他都不可以做。这个呢，它的这个好处呢，它就是有一个很大的空间去企业去创新。As of October 29th, by the time the free trade zone was a month old, 29 foreign companies had registered, 24 for sectors outside the negative list. But some say the negative list is too long. 就是负面清单的，它的开放度其实。可能还不能简单的取决于长和短，你比如说我们在负面清单的规定当中，如果你纯粹就是一个大类的话，讲句老实话，企业对大类以外它很难做判断。如果你规定到中类，规定到小类，那么它对负面清单以外的内容就能够更加清晰的把握。Authorities say the list of restrictions will be relaxed next year and revised on a yearly basis. The management approach of the negative list is a major breakthrough of China's administrative reform. The new mechanism not only helps the pilot area to meet the international standards, but also shows the government's determination to explore new ways to further open China to the outside world. Shunjing, CCTV, Shanghai.